out, out in a field here by a 16th century house, trying to find some history. Uh, hopefully, with a bit of luck, we'll come up with something. But uh, this is just to give you an idea where I am. I'm up here somewhere. It's pubs, there's loads of history around here. Skirmish of, uh, of Ovley Cromwell and the Roundheads. For, I found in the other fields close by World War II stuff, all sorts of kind of stuff I found. So there is this straight, it's just a matter of what is in that field. This is this is what we got to do. Uh, we could get a lift up here. I'm just meeting the the owner of the field. He's uh, He's got a fantastic quad. I think, well, I'll have a double of that. It's beautiful, is that? It's a kit. I'm not kidding. So I'm just going to show you where we're detecting on this field. And the history around here just goes back and back and back. Done quite a lot of the... Uh, this area already, I'm finding armoured and various other coins and artefacts of different description. So, there's possibility, possibility there. This is a taxi. This is a taxi to the hill. Right, right, Mick. Where am I, where am I banging myself? Uh, sit on the back or sit on the back of here or whatever. Oh, God, no. Oh, yes. Perfect. I want to go to the top of the hill, but I'll walk it if you want. If you're going to do it, you can chill this one. Or... Yeah, that's, I'm just going to go to the top then. Here we go. So this is the scenic view on a quad bike. <laughs> oh, yes. Lovely, lovely. Now that's an old house there, look. Probably about 1920s. 1900, yeah. Yeah, isn't it? Bad about that, isn't it? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. So that's what it is, just there. Uh, so, get on top of here then, Mick, and then I'm just going to do a, a kind of sweep round. Right. Oh, there you are. Look at the countryside there, boys and girls. Look at that. Beautiful. All round there. Found loads of artefacts, a load of history. Got all these fat fields to do. And I'll, I'm going to go back on this field shortly and see what, what comes out. So that's where we are at the moment. Forty nine in this piece of muck. Uh, let's see what it is. Uh, looks like a coin. Of George the Sixth, half penny, I think. I think it is. Yep, chip opening. Oh, I've got it down there. Oh, that's a buckle. A buckle. Found a silver. Brilliant. I don't know who it is because it's so mucky, but uh, probably probably Victorian. Brilliant. I bought. <laughs> <laughs> Silver, and that was 76. Brilliant. Let's see if there's any more. Coming silver, but that's not brass. From an 18th century token, and that was 42. There we go. Victoria Penny, in good condition. Right, so this is what we found so far then. Um, the Commemorative pendant of Victoria, not fully there, it's broken. You know, see that's that's the pendant. Um and back to that. Uh a dandy button. 
probably 17th, 18th century. Yep. Uh, dog tag, we've got to find the owner. <laughs> dog tag. <laughs> <laughs> um, George III, half penny. <laughs> yep, half penny. Uh, Victorian penny. Go back a bit and get me in. Victorian penny. Yep. And uh, Victoria, half penny. Yep. Yep. And then, lucky, really, really lucky, I managed to get a bullhead six bed from Georgia. Look at that! Look at that! <laughs> <laughs> like finding silver. <laughs> Brilliant. Yep, yep. That's good. Yep. But there wasn't a great deal from that field. But we're moving to another one. So stay tuned and see if we find some more silver. Right. Oh, what have you found there then, uh, Robin? Looking like a. A nice silver sixpence, oh. 1942. Nice! That's right, it's back in the Second World War. Brilliant, buddy. Oh, yeah. Bit of silver, that's good, isn't it, mate? Always good. Brilliant. Right, let's, let's get some more now. Well, we come up with another silver, threatened to be of Victoria. Not in good condition, but I'm not really bothered. <laughs> another brilliant day detecting, loved every minute. Enjoy the video, please subscribe, thumbs up, catch you on the next adventure.